if you have a really stiff or sore lower back, this routine is perfect for you. I'm gonna take you through a really quick little routine that you can do any time of the day requiring just yourself and a mat. It'll leave you feeling really loose, limber, and just ready for the rest of your day. So we'll start this one really nice and simple, lying down onto your back. Just with your heels nice and wide, your palms out wide as well. From here, start to slowly sway the knees in and then switch them across to the other direction. So just nice and loose through the hips, trying to keep your shoulder blades nice and flat. Just encouraging a little bit of rotation through that lumbar spine over the next 10 seconds. And just while you're doing it, see if you can give it a little bit of hang time as that knee drops in to really mobilize through that lower back. And you're here for three, two, and one. Bring the knees back to 90 degrees here in the center. Just go heavy through that lower back, draw that belly button in. Take your knees all the way across to the right, looking towards the left. And then switching straight across to the other direction, counter twisting with your eye gaze to the opposite hand. And then keeping the knees and ankles glued together. You want a little bit of hang time just at the end. And we'll do one more each direction. Should feel good, it should start to get a little deeper as you start to warm up. Last one here. And then what I want you to do from this point is just grab your knees, pull them in towards your chest. Tuck your chin in and go into a little ball here. We're gonna get into some flexion. So extend that right leg, keep a hold of the left knee. And then switch it across. And switch it across. We're just doing three each leg, just getting the front of those hips a little loose because that'll help loosen your lower back. One more each way. And then grab both of your knees, relax your head, extend the left leg, take that right knee all the way across the body palm up and we've got a nice deep spinal rotation stretch. Knees come all the way back to center. We switch sides, that right leg extends, that left knee comes all the way across. Keep that left shoulder flat and you're here for three, two and one. Coming all the way back, knees bent, we'll roll all the way up into a four point kneel position. Hands stack directly underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. We'll go for three cat-cow stretches here, getting that whole spine moving. Tuck round, lift up through that middle back. And then extend, look towards the ceiling. Let's go two more like this. So we go really nice and tall through the ribs, tuck that tailbone under. And then draw the ribs down, look towards the ceiling. The looser we can get that middle spine, the less pressure into that lower back. We'll go for one more each way. Finishing that last one, widening those knees, bottom back to your heels, reach your hands right forwards. And then from here, have a little sway of those hips from side to side. So we're still in flexion here for that spine. We'll come into extension shortly. We just want to stretch the outer sides of the spine here. So take your left hand, left edge of the mat and beyond, right hand on top, sink your right hip back towards your heels. And you'll get a nice sideways stretch and a stretch through that lower back. And you're here for four, Three, two, one, switch side, right hand to the right, left hand on top, push that left hip back towards the heels and you're here for three, two, sideways stretch and one, coming all the way down and forwards, working into extension now, we're ready for it, so palms next to the shoulders, elbows next to the ribs, from here just relax your upper body and then push through your elbows and your palms, extend that middle back. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can. If your spine's a bit fragile, just make sure you stop at your elbows. And then we come all the way down, nose touches the mat. We have two more. Shoulders roll back. Lifting up onto your elbows. If you want to go deeper, come a little higher. And last one. you finish that last one just carefully come all the way down just take your arms wide bend your knees and go for a little sway of those heels from side to side just loosening up through your lower back rest your chin on the mat and extend both of your legs lift up your left leg 
bend your knee, take it across the body, palms stay flat and we try and tap that foot to the opposite edge of the mat. So we're working here through lower and middle back rotation, right knee bends, we take it across to tap the edge of the mat and all the way back through. So we have three each direction, incrementally getting a little lower towards the edge of the mat. And if you're super flexy here, you can actually start to lift your toe up towards the palm. If you're still really stiff, don't force it. Just let gravity do the work for you, just gently taking it across the body, aiming to at some point, see if you can touch the carpet or the mat. One more to the second side here. And then from here, pushing through your palms all the way up and into a side staggered position. So bend your left knee, extend that right leg. From here, we're just gonna go for a little bit of a twist to get a bit of rotation through the spine. So take your arms wide, left hand will reach all the way over towards that right foot. Rainbow that hand all the way back. Follow it with the right hand and we come for a nice deep spinal twist. Nose comes down to the mat. And then we go again, so we unravel. You go from a little hamstring stretch. If your hammies are tight, so will your back be. So see if you can get a little lower. And then we go for that rotation stretch. So you sort of mermaid it all the way across. Nose comes down, elbows go wide. Let's go for one more. See, getting a little lower. Last one here. Getting nice and low to the mat. And then unraveling all the way back to your start position, switching straight to the other side. So extend your left leg, right leg in. From here, arms go nice and wide. I want you to take your right hand all the way across to that left foot and rainbow it all the way up and over and across. Elbows go wide, nose comes down between the hands. A little shift of that focus from the hamstring into the hips and lower back. So you're coming all the way through to reach for your left toe and you stretch your hamstring, coming all the way back. Pivot, twist and get that nose all the way down between those fingertips. And let's go for one more. Should be starting to get a little bit more loose through that lumbar, especially now as we move into rotation. Finishing that last one, get that nose nice and low. Unraveling all the way back to your start position. And all you need to do here is just shift on up into a kneeling position. Just widen your knees and we just finish with a little bit of a spinal roll. So take your hands behind your back, elbows go wide. Lift up onto your knees, we'll come with the elbows wide, lift up through your chest, look up towards the ceiling, support the weight of your head and your hands. And then we curl the elbows all the way in towards the nose. We tuck curl round all the way down and under, elbows between the knees. And then we slowly unravel, one vertebra at a time, elbows go wide, little back extensions. We're moving the whole range of the spine at this point. The neck, the middle back, the lower back. We've got two more here. Getting nice and low into flexion, working our way, unraveling into extension, elbows go wide, chest opens. Let's go for one more here. Coming all the way down, getting nice and tight into flexion, Unraveling all the way back up, elbows go wide. And then all you need to do here is place your hands down, tuck your feet under, bend your knees, walk your hands back towards your feet, grab your elbows and have a nice slow ragdoll from side to side. Good for the hamstrings, good for that lower back. And you're here for four, three, two, and one, we slowly roll all the way up. Your lower, your middle, upper, shoulders roll back, chin up last, and you should be feeling nice and loose and limber through that lumbar spine. Let me know how you go. I hope you enjoyed your session of Pilates with a B. If you did, I have a whole smorgasbord of classes. In the link below, you can get access to my whole platform, over 240 on-demand classes, 14 live classes a week. And all you need to do is click the link below for a free trial. Get into it, you'll love it.